top five lenses that I think OM system should make. Well, good morning, London. Welcome to my latest vlog. Yes, I'm very excited today because I've got a really amazing photo shoot coming up. But today's video isn't about my photo shoot, although I may show clips of it, but it's more about top five lenses that I think OM system should make. What a beautiful day. Perfect for a sunny photo shoot. <laughs> I shoot in all kinds of weather conditions, so I'm always happy. But anyway, um, just a little announcement before anything happens is that I got a new camera. Yeah, something that you may not have expected or if you have been following me on my live stream you may got some hint already but indeed I took the plunge and got myself a Panasonic Lumix GX6 Micro Four Third camera for photography of course I'll film with it but then uh, yeah one of the reasons I got this camera is because that uh, I needed a high, me high megapixel camera uh, more than 20 I know OM system is great I'm still an OM system ambassador but this is for my job this is my working uh, uh, agency so like they have recently upped the limit uh, of 20 megapixel uh, resolution to 24 so that I need something bigger and hence I've got this which is 25 megapixels so that should give me enough to satisfy my future requirements for the foreseeable future so of course if uh, OM system one day release another high megapixel can camera I'm gonna you know get that instead of using GX6 but then again the GX6 is actually pretty good for a lot of things that OM system isn't at the moment which specifically for video uh, but anyway that's besides the point I'm gonna fully test this um, particular camera here I've been using it for the last couple of weeks I've been doing about almost two photo shoots a day for the last two weeks so I've done a lot of mileage already on this little camera here and so I have a lot of experience and uh, I will share them as soon as I think it's ready for me to do a proper review uh, for the GX6 for photography purposes so uh, if you want to uh, listen to that remember to stay tuned oh yeah of course you know remember subscribe if you haven't already done so put the like and uh, put on bell notification so you won't miss that particular review in the future anyway today's video is about that five lenses I think OM system or in fact Michael Forth should make over the past couple of years uh, I see a lot of focuses on long tele zoom lenses and this is very obvious for Michael Forth platform is because especially OM system they really wanted to angle or concentrate on wildlife and outdoor photography and long tele zoom lenses are of course essential because people want to do birding do wildlife shoot animals from distance and whatnot and of course also macro as well but one thing that I think that has been missing and you know I, I mean I keep hearing a lot of you guys mentioning it in my videos as well is that can we have some prime lenses some like uh, uh, updates on the 1.8 premium lenses that is one of the topics today yes I would like to see that myself as well all the 1.8 primes like the 17 the 25 and the 45 are brilliant even today I still recommend to a lot of people they are just value for money high performing lenses and also tiny and small that any micro photo photo should have right and that's without a doubt however it's feeling a little bit maybe a little bit long in the tooth and then uh, I think maybe they should be due for an update maybe put a little bit of weather sealing into it it, it may increase the size as a result but I think we could live with that and uh, price also yeah today's prices in the inflation whatnot that will bump that up as well but you know if you guys are up for it I'm up for it and I think that um, and whether see 1.8 premium lenses should be on the agenda um, the more specifically I would like to see the new 45 1.8 with weather seal that really could become a, a very good general purpose portrait lens that for those who don't need the 1.2 or the size of the 1.2 and uh, so they would be a great solution as well so 45 1.8 weather seal yeah okay that will be my first first one okay. second on my list will be an ultra wide ultra fast prime and that will be either a 12 or even wider prime lens well at the moment the, uh, the fastest prime lens uh, rectilinear is the 12 millimeters f2 I know Olympus has the uh, 8 millimeters 1.8 fisheye uh, but that's not rectilinear I would like to see that it's as a rectilinear lens so it's that's, that's an 8 mil 1.8 
rectilinear lens. Oh my God, I'm going to jump for that one as well. Um, that is so close to Panasonic Lumix 9mm 1.7, which I have. Um, that is a fantastic lens for vlogging. So if OM system decides to make the 8mm 1.8 as a uh, rectilinear prime lens, brilliant so that will be really really awesome even if not a 12 millimeters 1.4 that will be a really really good prime lens as well and everyone's been asking for that for the past few years already and i see every time i mentioned about 12 millimeters so many of you actually talked about oh why don't olympus or ohm system make the 12 millimeters pro lens make it 1.4 you know to rival panasonic lumix leica whatever 12 millimeters 1.4 you know that 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 would be great, right? And uh, yeah, at this moment in time, the only kind of fast 12 millimeters, you have to go for Panasonic Leica. And, uh, and that lens is known for being big and heavy and also has lots of fringing. So I don't think that's a really good solution, um, you know, if you want to spend that sort of money. So I think Ohm System could potentially have a better chance of making it even better. Holy crap. It's really beautiful here. Although I'm not, I'm not photographing in this area. I just find it really, really pretty around here. And uh, yeah, I'm meeting a client in about an hour or so. And uh, we are going to have a private sofa. Yeah, private sofa to drive us all the way to Tower Bridge uh, to do a photo shoot. So that could be quite exciting. But anyway, my third choice, my third choice would be also another item on a lot of you guys' lists. And also, this could be beneficial for sports and also wildlife photography. Uh, this is a medium tele, ultra fast prime lens, similar to what we had before in the fourth era when Olympus used to make the 150 millimeters f/2. That was my dream lens that I couldn't afford at the time, and uh, so I'm hoping that OM System would make a similar version, but for Michael Forther platform. So a 150 millimeters f/2, or potentially even 1.8. You know who knows you know that would be oh my god that would be amazing that would be a dream for many many uh photographers you know because it's ultra fast you've got the uh, the separation that you can achieve with the f2 or even 1.8 lens and uh yeah you can throw in the teleconverters so the the potential can be enormous and i think that will be really really interesting as well and i personally shoot with a uh, kind of relatively long-ish prime lens for portraits before and the the results is pretty amazing so i would like to see something like that that would be pretty cool i can see i can see a, a, a squirrel just just right there it's like running i don't know if you can actually see that it's kind of running ah there you go <laughs> uh, anyway uh Okay, this is the wildlife for you in London. <laughs> okay, talk about wildlife. You know, like we talked about 150, we talked about 12, we talked about ultra wide, talked about a 45. You know, we, we, we mentioned a few, few lenses already. What do you guys think so far? You know, do you agree with me on the, or whatever uh, thing that you can think of, you know, that relating to what I just talked about? Any other specific usage that you may think is beneficial for your photography? Uh, we'd like to hear from you. Remember to drop something in the comment section below. Okay, I'm going to slowly making my way to meet my clients uh, at the hotel and uh, to be so very long to Tower Bridge. How posh am I? Being a posh photographer, right? Anyway, fourth item on the list is one thing that uh, I think can be controversial, but uh, to me, I would get this lens without even thinking. Okay, we currently have the 40 to 150 f2.8 Pro amazing lens i've been using that's my daily in my bag you know i have it right here with me and uh it's my kind of basically a necessary lens for all my photo shoots if i want to do some candy if you want to do some long distance shots uh, this is this is brilliant and i love the 40, 40 to 150 f 2.8 we also now have the 40 to 150 f4 pro lens which i also love for all my travels and lightweight solutions if i want to carry out with my family don't want to lug around big heavy lens that will be my go-to lens as well so here's an interesting thing whether you agree with me or not i would like to see ohm system make listen 40 to 100 f2 yes i would like to see that okay the reason i want to minimize or uh to shorten the telly end to from 150 to 100 is i want to keep the relatively compact size but enlarging the aperture size so yes it will become slightly maybe fatter but keeping the length as 100 uh, as 100 so uh 40 to 100 f2 could potentially 
be a very good general purpose zoom lens for portraiture for general just walking around zoom lens and even for filming if you want a little bit more separations and just you know doing some low light photography or filming the f2 will help dramatically so i think olympus had the capability of doing it because they already done something amazing in the past during the fourth era just like i mentioned about the 150 millimeters f2 before um, they have a bunch of f2 zoom lenses which are amazing i have one currently the 35 to 100 f2 but that is a beast and i'm pretty sure they can shrink that they can make it a lot smaller a lot more compact a lot more rugged as well in today's technology so uh, they could potentially make it a masterpiece that everybody wants you know I'm, I'm not joking I think that will be really really interesting and uh, of course if they decided to make a, a longer zoom lens you know which currently a lot of the rumors been talking about a 40 to 200 uh, f 2.8 you know if that happens I probably still get let get that lens but the problem is because it has a longer tele end that means that the lens is gonna be longer and heavier and uh, so i'm not entirely convinced with that particular lens and uh, so i may still want to keep my 40 to 150 2.8 uh, instead of the uh, going for the longer tele end i know m many of you may benefit from a longer tele end if you're doing wildlife photography or whatnot and uh, but for me i shoot mostly people and the 40 to 150 will be more than sufficient for me and uh, and throwing a 1.4 even a two times converter I will get what I need you know for most of my stuff anyway so I don't need too long but having a shorter but wider aperture or faster that could be different that could be a different story altogether and I would like to see that I'm not sure about you whether you agree with, with, with me or not but this is my personal list so the 35 or 40 to 100 millimeters f2 pro could be an amazing addition to the entire Michael Forthert community yeah last but not least last but not least is well um <laughs> this again will be quite controversial and um, at the moment i have t i've been testing a lot of uh, really ultra ultra fast lenses from china you know this 0.95 f1 or t1 1.2 lenses you know these are ultra fast micro fourth lenses but all of them are menu focused and i just want to see I just want to see if OM system or anybody in the Michael Fourth Alliance can make an autofocus ultra ultra fast prime lens. That would be cool. You know, something like perhaps maybe a, a more general you need to start with a general uh, a prime lens like a 25 millimeters, which is equivalent to a standard lens, a 50 millimeters full frame, a 25 millimeters f 0.95. I would like to see that. I would like to see OM system break the barrier of 1.2 being the fastest aperture. I would like to see faster. I really do. And I think that would be quite interesting for many uh, purposes. Not only just to showcase that you can achieve amazing optics with relatively compact size in the Micro Four Third platform, but also for OM system to showcase the powers in lens design, in lens rendering. because. They are known for it, you know, the OM system rendering is out of this world. I love the draw of the lens, I love the, the, the character of the lenses and having a 0.95 would just only accentuate that character just to exaggerate a little bit more so you can really clearly see those really lovely draw behind the, uh, the outer focus areas in the frame and I think that would be amazing. I would genuinely love to see a 25mm f.95 and uh, yeah, that would be something on my list and if they ever release that and even if they may stress to like two grand mark, maybe two and a half grand mark, I'll take out loan. I'll take out my credit card just to get that lens, just to just to use it, you know, because I would like to see such a lens exist. And um, it's almost like a showcase, really. You know, you've seen the likes of uh, Leica doing the Noctilux 50 millimeters point nine five. You've seen Nikon doing the 85 millimeters. Oh no, the 55 millimeters point nine five Noctil. Uh, no, 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 Nikkor. Nik Nik I can't remember the name of it, but the ultra fast point uh, nine five lens that they have. So. Two of these companies already done it. So I would like to see OM System do a similar thing just to showcase the world what Michael Forther can achieve. You know, with an ultra fast, auto focused 0.95 lens. That would be amazing. You know, I, I just would like to see that too. I know this is kind of, kind of crazy in a way that I'm, the list that I just went through is purely for my personal enjoyment more. <laughs> and uh, I hope you share my enthusiasm, you know, and because uh, I, I really love Michael Forthard platform. I just love the lenses. I really, you know, 
would not want to step away from it and uh, for as long as I can and uh, but yeah, it is what it is. So I just want to see more lenses, more choices in both uh, Panasonic or uh, Ohm system. Because I know Chinese lenses are up and coming and they have a lot more choices now. And they are slowly introducing some interesting lenses. So far, majority of them are menu, but you know, the likes of Viltrox and uh, Jungnor, they're all doing autofocus lenses as well. And they're getting pretty good. Um, yeah, so the, the, the beauty of Micro Four Three community is that there are absolutely tons of choices in terms of lenses and uh, if you're a filmmaker menu focus is really the thing anyways and there are absolutely ton of choices you know a lot of choices and because of the flange system of the micro for the cameras you can adapt to virtually any lenses you can find on the market and that is the beauty of it and I like it and I love this platform a lot and uh, so this is it this is my end of today's video and I hope you guys enjoy it I hope you guys enjoy my enthusiasm on my top five uh, lenses that I think ohm systems should make and uh, please do leave a comment in the se uh, comment section below uh, what sort of uh, 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 lenses you would like ohm system to make or in fact my core to have and uh, also like I said, if you haven't already done so, remember to subscribe and put on a like and also bell notification so you can stay tuned for all my future vlogs, traveling and gear reviews. And of course, if you want to hear about my GX6 talk, yeah, bell notification would definitely help you to not forget that. Okay, anyway, I'll speak to you all later and enjoy your beautiful sunny day, hopefully like where I am at the moment. And I'll see you all very soon. Bye for now. Woo! Welcome to my bonus session. I hope you enjoy my uh, little video today and my top list uh, of my dream lenses that I hope my OM system or anyone in Michael Forth Alliance should make. And uh, yeah, I, I think the lenses that I mentioned is actually pretty cool, you know, and uh, at least for me anyway. I'm pretty sure every photographer is different, so you may have a different list altogether, but I would like to hear from you. I would like to see what you have in your list and why as well, you know, and because uh, I listed my reason. I, re I listed uh, uh, the choices that I have and uh, let's see what, what choices you have but anyway uh, yes you may have questions about my GX6 and uh, which I am actually enjoying using at the moment it's very different compared to OM system uh, OM1 at the moment uh, I, you know that is still I think the really great camera to... <laughs> one of the greatest cameras uh, uh, of Michael Forth of all time and uh, no doubt about that in terms of photography it's brilliant AF and uh, the GX8 is not slouch, you know, it has a lot of things that I actually do like as well. But in terms of ergonomic, one thing I can tell you right now is the ergonomic. This thing is chunky and heavy and big compared to the OM1. And I think the grip, definitely the OM1 is way, way better than the GX6 grip. Um, the, it, it, it's chunky, but I think it just not, it doesn't have that contour that fits my hand very well. And uh, this is one thing I really don't like about the G GX6. It's doable, it's workable, and I'm using it right now, and uh, I'm not really complaining as such, but compared to OM1, it's night and day difference. And I think the uh, uh, all the OM system cameras, in terms of OM1 series, E1 series, they have the best grip in the industries. Uh, I love the, how it handles in my hand, and just works really, really well. The GX8 just, just doesn't feel right, and it's just too much angles, and it's kind of dicking to my hand a little bit. And uh, overall, I just don't think the hand, uh, the grip, uh, is the best in the business. And uh, but anyway, <coughs> anyway, and uh, I hope you guys have fun. <coughs> God, suddenly I choked myself. Ugh. Anyway, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And. Uh, Remember to stay tuned for my GX6 review and I'll do a full review for photography on the GX6 and um, yeah, it's a good camera, it's a good camera, it's actually a very good camera indeed and uh, well these, the GX6 and the OM1 both are the flagship for Micro Four Third platform right, you know you can't deny it you know, so these two flagship cameras are great with their own directions, with their own ways and more, more specifically, the GX is really, really a video camera, and I think that there are a lot of features um, that OM system could take notes, you know, and uh, in the video side. But then again, you know, OM system never was a video camera uh, maker anyway. And but there are certain features I think could benefit for future uh, models, iterations, and also help OM system to appeal to more uh, general videographers and such. Um, but 
don't forget that GX6 is also a very capable steel camera because to be quite frank, you know, like we have all the computational stuff on the ohm system already, like the live ND, live composite, live bulb and all the really cool stuff that you can have, um, which is great. But to what I do, you know, I do portraits a lot. All I need just in, if I really need something computational is purely just the face recognition, body recognitions and eye focus. And the GX6 does that too. So like in terms of for my use, the two cameras, the OM1 and the, and the GX6 doesn't have a lot of differences because for what I do for my daily basis for all my photo shoots um, the, they're almost equivalent because uh, I don't use live ND a lot I don't use live composite at all you know for my normal day-to-day -day shoots and uh, so all I need is just a way to adjust my exposure triangle <laughs> that's basically it so anyway I'm not going to go too detailed in the GXX because you know you have to stay tuned for my re uh, review um, but apart from that I'm all good I'm good I'm just super busy at the moment sorry for not making so many videos I know you guys been waiting and uh, but and uh, I just getting too busy in the summer summer months and uh, this is my peak time now I need to earn the money before I stop uh, uh, having a break you know and to us the later part of this year and uh, yeah so just have to wait for that I have more announcement to say in the next uh, couple of months because some interesting things coming and then I'm, I'll be excited to share for you guys as well uh, but anyway stay tuned stay tuned that's all I can say until next time though see you all very soon bye for now